All right, so I'm making this beer pong table and I want to change the design, right? I'm gonna show you an easy way or like a convenient way that you can easily change the design for something. Let's say you have an object and you want to change it to a custom design or something. This is gonna be a useful tool if you're trying to do that, okay? So what I'm talking about is this. This table, it has the big sticker in the middle. It has the stickers for the beer pong cups over here and over there. And it has a texture underneath it, which is like a gradient. And it goes from orange to red to purple, whatever, right? And this background is some waves. I want to change just the background. I don't want to touch the stickers. I don't want to fuck with any of this. I just want to be able to do whatever I want with the background. Maybe I want to put a camouflage texture on it. Maybe I want to put a picture of a chimpanzee. Maybe I want to put, I don't know, whatever, right? Maybe I want to put concrete, whatever. It doesn't matter. I want to just be, be able to easily switch, maybe do a procedural texture or something. So here's how I'm going to do that, okay? Here's what this texture looks like. And I know that if you don't use PaintNet, you're like, what the fuck is he talking about? How do you do this, right? But if you are doing the graphic designs for your product design, this is going to be useful for you, okay? So I can make a whole tutorial for how I made this because this shit is going to be useful, right? It's going to save you time. You can make pro designs. Look at this shit. Tell me it doesn't look good. So here's the idea. We got these stickers on one layer. Okay, that's one layer. Another layer is a big middle sticker. And then the other layer, I don't know what this is. This is just a measuring tool. Then I have the wave pattern and I finally at the bottom of everything, I have the gradient. So in paint, I can just select the bottom, the bottom texture, the bottom layer, and I can just take a brush or something. I can just make it a big brush and I can just, I can just get busy. I can just start texturing something. And if I save this and open it in Blender, it's gonna look different, right? But what if I wanna replace this with a procedural material in Blender, I just wanna load a custom image and I don't wanna have to open up paint every time, look at the layers and all this shit. Here's what you're gonna do, okay? We're going to take this, these stickers, we're gonna put those on one layer. So all the stickers, the top layer, that's one layer. And the background image, which consists of these waves and the, and the gradient, that's gonna be another layer, right? Forget about this, we don't need this shit, okay? So now we have the top layer, which is the stickers, and whatever's underneath it. That's the background, that's what we wanna replace with something else, all right? The top layer, I want to make the top layer, I think we have to make it black, right? Because the idea is one of them has to be black, one of them has to be white. I think we have to make it a value of one is gonna be the one that we want to control. Anyway, it doesn't really matter too much. The background has to be completely black, all right, so we're gonna make that completely black, just paint everything with a bucket, make it completely fully black. And the stickers, I'm gonna select everything outside of the stickers, because that will make it easy. Then I'll inverse my selection, I'll invert it, and I'll right click, I'll paint everything white. Okay, so now the stickers are white, background is black, great. So now we can use this to tell Blender that when we want to, text, when we want to change the texture, we only want to replace the black color, the, the black texture, the black background. We want to replace that with another texture, okay? So instead of black background, we want to have carbon fiber. Maybe we want to have a picture of my face. Maybe we want to have a car or, or whatever. Maybe we want to have some titties on there, whatever. So now, I will take this image. I'll merge all the layers, get rid of whatever this is, right? Get rid of that. We'll merge all these layers, and we're going to save this. I'll just save it as a separate image because I don't want to fuck up my layers. I want to have this as a separate file, so let's just get this back. So I don't accidentally save it and fuck everything up. I won't be able to separate it anymore. I'll save this as whatever, pictures, pictures, uh, mask. I'll name it table mask. So this is called a mask because this is what, what tells Blender where you want to have one part of the texture, where you want to have another type of texture, one color, another color. Now you go to Blender. I'm going to open up this material, which I have for the face. It's called the face because this is the material applied to the top of the table, which has this texture shit. I'll go to my materials and now this is the image that we have currently. I'm gonna replace this image with my table mask. All right, so now it's just black and white. Let's get, a, let's get rid of these cups so we can see what we're doing. And now this mask, we're going to use this mask to tell Blender what we want to appear, what, what do we wanna have on the white surface and what do we wanna have on the black surface, okay? So this is how we're gonna do it. We need a mixed color node, a right, mixed color. And we're going to plug this black and white image. It's RGB, color space is RGB. We're gonna plug that into the factor, okay? So now this determines the mixture of these colors, all right? So now the A color, we have to plug this into the base color. The A color is obviously our background, right? So we can change that to whatever we want. By default, it was black because that's what the image says, but we can, we can replace, it's not because that's what the image says, but the image is used to control which color is gonna appear where. So now we want the background, which is color A, black means color A. We want that to appear as yellow maybe. And the surface, we want that to be red. You can change it to whatever you want, okay? So now 
I can go back and instead of this yellow background or instead of the red plain color for the cups for the stickers I want to have my actual stickers I still want to have these I just want a different background so I'm gonna bring back my texture that I have for the table I'm gonna load that sucker up waves two. this one I'm gonna plug it into color A because that's the background alright so now the background or uh, we're, we're gonna plug it to color B so color B are the stickers all right and the background can be whatever you want all right now you can go ahead and load up a noise texture node if you want to plug that into color a that's the background now you got some clouds going for you now maybe you want to make a cow texture or some shit color ramp color ramp black and white control it with these make it a different texture do something like this if you want to then you can control the scale make that it set the scale to one or two Maybe we can move the stickers around. I'm gonna make this constant so it's easier to control it. But I can control the coverage of each color with these stickers a little bit. Just basic color ramp node shit, right? If you're not familiar with the color ramp node, let me know. I can explain more of this stuff. You can make the background some other whatever color. Just make some camouflage shit or something. You see what I'm talking about? You can customize this to whatever way you like. Just the background, right? You can put in another texture. You can load in something from the internet. Maybe you downloaded a wood texture. Maybe you got a picture of your skin. I don't know, whatever. Just figure something out. Carbon fiber, whatever. And you can use this for something else. So if you have a texture on top of something, split it into layers, make the top layer black or the top layer white, the background, make it black and use that shit to control which textures are going to display. I can change this into camo texture. Instead of, instead of this, I can change... I can put a camo texture instead of this red color now. It's going to be camo stickers. You can have this as a table. I can make as many tables. My client can now take... I have so many designs I can just pro I provide them with countless different variations of the same of the same table right? I can just print out as many I can change the colors on this camo I can change it to carbon fiber I can make it grass wood whatever I can make it the coolest fucking designs by just switching up a couple of nodes I can do whatever just customize it for for, for clients who want to pay extra for a custom design whatever right so it's a useful tool if you're trying to if you're trying to uh, provide more value right maybe a client asks you for they want this kind of design you're gonna be like fuck it i'll throw in six more because it's easy to make them right? you can just make whatever you want anyway this table and along with some other shit that i make on my channel different products and stuff it's gonna be available for download on patreon okay i just play a little packs every week or two that i that i started doing this recently where i put products that i design i put them up on patreon and then i also make full length tutorials there so if you got some questions if you want to know more about how i make these products Check, my, check out my Patreon if you want to support my channel. You'll find a lot of cool shit there. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys want to see next. I know a lot of you guys are complaining about my fucking microphone, but that's just the way it is. I'll try to EQ a little bit, see if we figure it out. Until, until then, fuck it. We're just going to have to be this microphone, all right? Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one.